everyone, my name is Ksenia and if you're here, you're probably interested in sustainability, zero waste, minimalism and mental health. Today, following up my previous video about my wardrobe, I would like to tell you more tips and tricks on how to shop sustainable fashion, how to shop soft fashion, how to thrift and how to thrift online. Please like this video and subscribe if you like this content and let me know if you want me to make video about anything else. Alright, so what is sustainable fashion? Sustainable fashion is an umbrella term for different types of fashion but uh, the one that doesn't involve uh, fast fashion. Uh, if you're wondering what it is, I have a video about it and I can link it. Sustainable fashion can be divided into slow fashion. It's the literal opposite of uh, fast fashion. It's um, using what you have, repeating outfits, shopping your own wardrobe, just like I said, making the best of your clothes. The appeal of slow fashion is that there is no shame in wearing and buying secondhand fashion as long as you make them last. So even if you have some fast fashion items in your wardrobe, it's okay if you continue using them. <clears throat> you don't have to throw them away just because you bought them before you want to just switch to a more sustainable fashion. Another division of sustainable fashion is ethical fashion. We cannot make fashion sustainable without improving the way we treat garment workers. That's why ethical fashion emphasizes transparency in the garment industry supply chain. Ethical fashion also promotes creation of labor unions for garment workers, equal pay for men and women, safe conditions of work for garment workers. Sometimes uh, people don't have access to running water or toilet and uh, it was especially crucial and emphasized during COVID times that garment workers continued uh, putting themselves at risk to make f fast fashion and not only fast fashion but also lux luxurious fashion collections despite the risk of getting um, getting a virus. Oftentimes when we talk about sustainable fashion we also talk about innovations that could be done in terms of fabrics and production of items. For example industry switching to non-plastic and human-made um, materials like tensile and lyocell or using recycled fabric. It also involves using completely new materials like mushroom leather, synthetic silk which doesn't use animals, leather from pineapples and much more. So what are the pros of secondhand clothes? The pros of getting secondhand clothes I think is that you're not using up any materials, any resources anymore, you're giving a second life to an item that would probably be discarded otherwise. We all hear that a lot of items that get donated uh, are still discarded because charity shops could be overflowing with, um, with garments because our intake of clothing and the amount of clothes produced um, by apparel industry is growing exponentially every year. I would say that um, the best thing would be to use <coughs> what you have and even prevent the, your item to being donated. Try to take the best uh, from it, upcycle it or sell it. At the same time there is such thing that uh, is called gentrification of the charity shops. So gentrification is an overall term which means that um, the richer population is driving poorer people from their uh, housing options or their shopping options by raising the prices for the services like housing and secondhand clothes. So I would say that if you can buy new clothes from a sustainable brand, for example, if you would be anyways considering buying something new, like underwear, um, I would uh, say that 
Um, it would be great if you could invest in a sustainable brand. And I have, I think, a video about more sustainable brands and I will link a post, uh, a couple of Instagram posts I have recommending sustainable brands all over the world and also even swimwear brands which are plus size and so size inclusive um, and sustainable whatever you do with your fashion with your wardrobe the best you could do is not support fast fashion from the planet perspective uh, using up what you have is uh, cheaper and better always than creating something new because you still need um, I th resources to grow cotton even if it's organic cotton. That's why I'm going to t talk more about how you can thrift. I have been thrifting for uh, a long time. I think um, First time was when I was 14 years old and I had a big size change. I gained 20 kilograms and uh, <clears throat> I needed to change up all my clothes. So I went to a secondhand store where um, I just bought myself a new wardrobe. Basically, I bought four items for the price of maybe maximum two that I could afford and new ones. And they were really good items as well. There are quite a lot of resources out there, I think, for, for thrifting, so I will just link some of the resources as well, but also share tips that help me. This is uh, actually advice from a YouTuber whose channel is Haley's Corner. She has a lot of thrifting content, and so one of her cool advice was not to limit yourself with your gender and size because some vintage pieces like jeans uh, can fit bigger on smaller so you can actually find your size for example if your size is 30 uh, you might find that size 32 fits you or size uh, 28 fits you. you you never know right so she also shops uh, in male se se section for oversized clothes and for hoodies and also in kids session section like in the boy young boy section but also for it's a good it's good advice if you are petite because uh, kids clothes uh, is cute and can fit adults as well same goes for the shoes I think sometimes teenager shoes could be size 36 to 39 I prefer to uh, already know what I'm looking for so if I need a pair of jeans I'm not going to bother looking at shoes or bags especially if I have enough uh, that's why it's nice to create a stop list a stop list is something that is a, an opposite of shopping list so it's a reminder for yourself not to buy too much of something you already have so if you have too many hats write down that you don't need hats and don't go looking at them and it goes for the rest of the items it depends though whether you like duplicates because i don't i would prefer to have tops of different color and different cut rather than have um, them the same you know same um, five black t-shirts but it's different so if you have a, a style uniform which i do as well um, maybe that's something you um, you would be happy with. And this is why sometimes uh, sh shopping secondhand can take some time because you will definitely have to go through a lot. It depends how organized the shop is because sometimes I uh, in the Netherlands we have shops that are organized by type. For example, there are, if there are tops, there are only tops then it's organized by size or by color, but it's not always like that, unfortunately. So sometimes you would have to spend a lot of time going through uh, a lot of clothes that you might not need. But remember, um, thrifting is searching for a diamond in the rough and most of the time it's really worth it. For example, I have, um, I was particularly looking for a very warm, nice, cozy sweater 
and I got one and it was 100% cashmere and it was like just a huge oversized male sweater I think it's basically all three of all of my tips uh, exemplified I looked for a particular item so I only looked with the sweaters it was a male sweater and was huge but I still liked it um, it took me some time to find it and I think it went to a couple of thrift stores before I got the sweater I have now Another thing, which I, I, I'm not sure, I think it depends on where you live, is either very developed or not developed at all, is thrifting online. So maybe you're using, if you are in the US, maybe you're using Depop, if you are in Europe, maybe you're using Vinted, um, if you are in the Netherlands, maybe you're using Markplatz, if you're in Russia, you're using Avito. So uh, there are some countries which use eBay, it's kind of universal, right? Um, so maybe you're using this kind of resale website, so maybe you're completely new to them. I started doing this a lot, for example, with the shoes, I actually buy uh, a lot of my shoes secondhand online and or uh, a lot of Massimo Dutti um, items like these white jeans. Um, I got second hand because I just know what my size is and I know the sizing and the fit of this brand. What I would recommend is when you start searching, try searching the item you want and the brand that you're familiar with, with the sizing, or search for the item and the color you want and um, the size again. Sometimes you can have it sorted by size or filtered out by brand, which is also great. Carefully look through the pictures. I usually warn not to buy from adverts that have less than uh, two pictures because it's very hard to understand what the item is without any pics. Ask um, the seller if it's a person and not a shop to uh, maybe make more pictures if there is no person in them just to see how it fits. But another important thing is if you know your measurements and you bet you should if you shop online ask what is the length of an item so, so that you understand how to fall on your body, uh, what's the um, sleeve length what's the shoulder length and what's the armpit length so basically going from one armpit to another consider also the materials that the item is made of 100% cotton will not be too stretchy and vice versa if o o cotton has a couple of percent of elastan you can expect a little bit of stretch if you are selling clothes yourself as a rule of a thumb, I think you shouldn't sell uh, or donate clothes that you wouldn't want to get or buy for yourself. So if something is soiled, torn or just shapeless, consider donating it to an animal shelter as a rag, upcycling it as a rag or, you know, sometimes they uh, use rags to um, fit in a car seat or something like that. So go ahead and donate them. Make good photos because it will help you uh, sell your item. And, uh, good luck, I hope uh, you find something that looks good on you and will be a good addition for your wardrobe. And remember that the fact that this item is cheap and it's secondhand and you know, sustainable, it doesn't mean that you have to buy it. Uh, if it doesn't benefit you and uh, doesn't make you happy, doesn't uh, look good on you, doesn't fit your lifestyle. Alright, I think this is it. Thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, and as all YouTubers and vloggers are supposed to say, please like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell button. Bye!